Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Yes, this is my long-awaited cancer hack video. The experts say one in three people will get cancer sometimes in their life. Well, I was that one. On April 13th, Friday the 13th, 2012, I got the call that everybody dreads. And a doctor said, Mr. MKE, you have cancer. So that was quite a long time ago and I am cancer free now. And I thought I'd make a video of what I learned, not really much about cancer, but about dealing with it. Sooner or later, someone in your life is gonna come and tell you that they have cancer. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you should respond and not respond through my personal experiences. So if someone in your family has cancer, please share this video with them. All cancer patients will have a lot of doctor appointments. And this is really about how to handle that. So let me show you my little friend. And this is a portfolio. And I bought this at Duluth Trader. Hashtag unsponsored. And in here is kind of like my survivor kit for going to the doctor's office. Now the doctor will tell you to get there 15 minutes early because he's going to be a half hour late. So you're probably gonna be waiting at least 45 minutes to see the doctor. And then they're gonna stick you in a small room and take your blood pressure and your vitals. And you could sit there for 15 minutes to 45 minutes once again. So how do you deal with all this time on your hands? Well, this kit will help you. So we you open it up and the first thing I have is my iPad. You can have a tablet, whatever you want. With this, I can watch YouTube videos, I can edit my YouTube videos, I can play solitary, I can search on the internet. This is really a lifesaver. To go along with that, you're gonna need some listening devices. And I have my favorite headphones, my ear pods. They link wireless to my iPad or my phone. And I can listen to, like I said, music videos or YouTube videos. I like to take something to read and some scratch pad. I'm always doodling and making drawings or prints for future projects. I also like some kind of catalog to look at, help pass the time. Now in here, I made this divider and this is the only thing I really made. This is just a piece of cardboard. I made it as a divider to keep the iPod separated from my paperwork. But the interesting thing is I added the aluminum foil tape here, like you use on heating ducts. If you use duct tape, this stuff is so sticky, it will peel back and get stickiness all over all your paperwork in that. And I put this foil tape on there. This helps stop this from breaking down. And you can see it broke down a little bit. I should put a new piece on there. But you're gonna be Put your hand in and out, and it just stops the cardboard from breaking down. So that's the only thing you really got to build for this project. In the front pouch, I have various items. Let's take them out and go through them. Well, of course, you're going to need a, a face mask. So I cut off the box tops of all my medications, and I put that in that pouch. If you're like me, you can never remember the name of the medication or the dosage. And just cut off the tops, put that in there. I have a wallet dedicated just for insurance cards. And then also I put the business cards for my doctors in there. This goes with me. Couple pens, pencils, mechanical pencils. And then uh, some lens cleaners for cleaning my, my glasses or my iPad or my phone just to keep them clean. Stores in here real nice. Of course, you should have your phone with you so you can make future appointments. This snaps nice. Easy to carry. Okay, now the burning question is, you have to tell your family, friends, that you have cancer. And it's kind of amazing the answer you get back. Most people will share their cancer experiences and tell you how Everybody they know, whoever had cancer, died. They'll say, oh, my mom, my dad, my uncle, my aunt, all had cancer. 
and they died. When someone tells you that they have cancer, don't get caught up in telling the horror stories of your family or friends. What you gotta do is offer them. What can I do to help? Do you need a ride to and from your treatments? Can I make a meal for you? Can I cut your grass? Can I watch your kids? Is there anything I can do? Those are, the answer will be no, but you don't know how comforting it is to somebody who just got the heck scared out of them that you are a friend and that you're willing to do anything to help them. So please do that. Please don't tell horror stories. Please have some compassion. Even if the person's not a real close friend, offer to help. And the chances are they won't need your help, but you know what? You just made a best friend. You just went up on their friendship list really high. This is MKE Gadgets. I hope you learned something from today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notifications of my new videos. I try to do a new video every Wednesday. Please pass this along to family or friends who have been diagnosed with cancer. Maybe this can give them a little help. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.